All right, I'm back with Chris Duncan. We're going to go to a rapid fire. Uh, welcome back. Now we really get to expose him. All right. What are you reading or listening to right now? Big podcast fan. Obviously, I'm here, but love listening to podcasts about anything. Um, I really like Joe Rogan. And oh, yeah. I don't know if that's good or bad. We are, uh, our company is run on EOS. So I'm, oh. I'm big fan of, of anything EOS, traction, get a grip. What the heck is EOS? Uh, I revisit those books quite a bit because we just want to continue to get better. All right. What movie could you watch over and over again? We call it Little Screen. And so when you're on like DirecTV and you're searching for something better, but if Holes is on, I don't know why that movie, like if it's on, I'm watching it. What is one crazy thing you'd like to do if there were absolutely no consequences? God, you know, my, my appetite for risk has changed so much, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Being in the insurance business and having how appropriate, yeah, and having little kids too, right? Uh, if there were no Chris walks around in a body condom, everyone just yeah, so you know <laughs> exactly. Uh, I think that from a from a work perspective, it would be just continuing to like push the envelope, and if if it didn't matter who and what happened, I would work on that from a personal perspective. I'd love to take like six months off and just go backpack through Europe with my kids and with my wife and explore and just spend more time with them. What would you like to be rem remembered for? Being a good friend. I mean, really, I, you know, I'm, I've got, uh, I'm really, really fortunate to have unbelievable friendships with like my personal friends and also with my clients. I hope that they think that I'm a friend to them and that I'm paying attention to their personal lives and, and not just selling them insurance. Here's one. Who's your favorite person in the world right now and why? I've had a, I've had a really unique relationship with my dad for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And I look back now at all the things that he did for us as kids and the, the lake days and the ski trips and the taking our friends everywhere um, and being a father today and recognizing how hard he worked for us all the time and um, the things he did for us and, and my mom too and i don't want to take away from her but mm. i just know that like it's really really cool to get to like talk to him now as like a pal and not as like my dad i don't you know i still yeah. I still love his advice um, but i look up to him who he was for us when you know when we were younger a lot what is the best part of your morning and why getting up and grabbing a coffee with my wife those moments before the kids wake up as soon as they wake up and it's like you hear them coming down the stairs they sound like a herd of elephants i don't know why they walk so loud it makes me laugh every day listen like can you guys not walk any quieter like this is as quiet as it gets and it just like i love it i love hearing them come down the stairs what do you think your industry will look like in another five to ten years uh, i think our, our industry in the next five to ten years is certainly going to be there will be portions of it that will be eaten up by insure tech and mm -hmm. more quoting online and, and you we've all seen the commercials cheap 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 and you know quote online 60, 60 seconds could save you 15 percent or more i think we're going to continue to see that evolution why it's going to be so great for guys like me and the, guy, the people that do what i do is that the separation of bigger clients mm -hmm. and the 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 noise makers the smaller clients that eat up bandwidth will be swallowed up by insure tech so there will be more bandwidth for really great people got um, it but I think that's what we'll see. What occupation, of course, other than what you're doing now, would you like to try or were you destined for? I go back to construction. Um, I, I've so much, I feel so great for you guys when you get to drive by something and you go, I built that. And you have pride in that. And you can show whomever you're with in the car that, hey, I built that structure, that level of pride. I miss that a ton. One of my very first jobs was with, with Cullum Homes here in town. Oh, Rod, yeah. 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 And um, I was, uh, I swept professionally for a summer oh. and rolled up air hoses for his trim team. And it, I loved it. And so I just, I love that product and I love working with, you know, the homeowners that we got to work with. They might even hire you back if you fly I think now. they would. I know. And they're, they're busy. So oh, they, I know they they're got good. jobs. Yeah. He, they, he's been on here. So they're, they're, they're a great company. Yeah, that was my first, my first summer job was working for Rod Cullum. That's awesome. Yeah. What did you learn recently? I think that I, I'm still trying to understand the emotions that exist in business. And so we're- So true EQ, is that where yeah. you're going? You know, my partner, Tim and I, and, mm -hmm. and we continue to sort of navigate with one another, the things that are so important to our business and how do we get better. And, um, you know, our, our core values of, of protecting our house and courageous conversations and growth and opportunity. And we look at those things and we go, hey, we're all going to grow together. We got to talk about this in order to protect our house. It's a really, really cool thing to, to learn how to navigate through two type A personality <laughs> men. And when one of us get our feelings hurt and it's like, it, you know, you know yeah. how that comes. It's like, well, shut up or whatever. Right. Yeah. And, but you just get to work through it. And so. Uh, continuing to learn that. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, this is a question my kids had for me last night. I'm gonna. Hey, name whoa, off. whoa, whoa! I didn't give them cheat sheets. Yeah. What's going on? So it's it's pistachio, but not the lime green one. I like the, sort of the muted green one. It's a little more earthy. Or I love a uh, Hagen Dazs strawberry, but it's got to be Hagen Dazs specifically, and uh, I put cashews on it. What would you do if you were a billionaire tomorrow? 
whatever I wanted <laughs> with whomever I wanted for as long as I wanted. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it, the definition, like Mic that's drop. <laughs> yeah, that's the definition of success for me, yeah. right? It's not yeah. a, it's not a dollar amount, but at some point, if you're a billionaire tomorrow, you can do whatever you want with whomever you want. Change up to multi-millionaire so it doesn't make it too utopian. Yeah. Your fondest memory as a kid. You know, we used to go to, I used to get to go to Guam every summer. Oh, wow. And uh, my uncle had a sub, subcontracting business over there. Oh, wow. And I think that um, it was just so fun for me to get to fly over there. My folks would send me over there on my own and I'd fly over there really? by myself. Yeah. Adventure, just being part of an adventure is really, really fun for me. And I think it was like one of my earliest adventures. What skill do you think everyone should have? It's a skill that is probably my le the skill that I have the, the least education on, um, finance. Oh. And I think that if everybody in college needs to come out of there knowing how to read a, a P&L real well, understand the finances of every business, you become lethal for any business. Which movie character would be the most befitting match of you if you, you were in a movie? Like who would play Chris Duncan? So uh, my sister-in-law thinks I look, I look like Leonardo DiCaprio, which I don't see it, but I'll, I'll let her. She said it once. Uh, let me back up. She said it once to me like 15 years ago, and I've just hung <laughs> on to it. So I'll accept that. Uh, Take it and run with the baby. Yeah, I mean, uh, otherwise, uh, Matthew McConaughey, just a cool guy, you yeah. know? I like him. 